Hey you guys, welcome back to Sinister Book Society, where every month we choose a book to read for our book club. Before we get into book discussion, I am going to announce the two books that we will be voting on to read for the month of June. We have Devil's Snare, which is book three of the Witches of Palomino Point series. And then we also have House of Hollows, which has been trending on my For You page for the past like two weeks, so I decided to buy it. I'm going to read this book this month anyways. I'm gonna read both books either way, no matter which book wins. So without further ado, let's read the synopsis of both books and figure out which one we are gonna be reading for the month. So we're gonna be starting off with the synopsis for Devil's Snare. Psychic Charlie Payne has been busy raising her son, helping the local deputy solve the worst of his cases and accepting her birthright as a witch. When her cousin suggests combining a girl's week in the mountains with her induction into their coven, she jumps at the chance for a break. But her vacation turns into a nightmare when Charlie encounters the spirit of a young woman who is definitely not looking to move into the light. When this ghost sets her sights on Charlie, she won't stop until she gets what she wants. And if she succeeds, it may cost Charlie more than her life. Devil's Snare is the third book in The Witches of Palomino Point, a spine-tingling supernatural suspense that will have you clinging to the edge of your seat. If you like ghosts, witches, and psychic, then you will love Witches of Palomino Point series by Wendy Wang. You guys already know how much I love book one and two. This one has my vote for book club. Um, there's 11 books in the series. I don't know if we're gonna do the whole 11 books. We'll see who wins the vote for this month. And House of Hollow. Iris Hollow and her two older sisters are unquestionably strange. As children, they disappeared on the Scottish city street only to return a month later with no memory of what has happened to them or where they had been. More troubling, their appearance began to change. Their blue eyes now black, their dark hair now white. And as they grew older, odd eerie occurrences seemed to follow in their wake. People find them disturbingly intoxicating, unbearably beautiful, and inexplicably dangerous. Now 17-year-old Iris is doing all she can to fit in and graduate high school on time, something her two famous, glamorous, globe-trotting older sisters, Gray and Vivi, never managed to do. But when Gray goes missing, leaving behind bizarre clues as to where her whereabouts is, Iris and Vivi are left to find her, but they aren't the only ones looking. As they brush against the supernatural, Iris quickly realizes that the story she has been told about their past is unraveling, and the world that returned them seemingly unharmed 10 years ago might just be calling them back. Darkly seductive, this twisty, modern-day fairy tale by critically acclaimed author Crystal Sutherland is gripping and terrifying. So. Both books to me sound absolutely crazy and like must reads. The House of Hollows cover itself is so beautiful. They did amazing with um, the illustration for the cover. Which is a Palomino Point always have great covers. I love their covers. Um, House of Hollow though, the hardcover was actually on sale and it was cheaper than the paperback. I'm not sure if that's still the case. But yeah, I will have links on both of the books down below in the description. So let me know which one has your vote because Devil Snare has mine. All right, so last month we read Wayward Spirits. I know I said Wayward Sisters earlier. I'm sorry, Wayward Spirits. This book was <sighs> so many emotions. Um, I don't want to spoil the book for you if you haven't read it, but I did not think the ending was going to be the ending. So Charlie meets Mortician in this book and she starts having feelings for him and really kind of falling for him. I had some thoughts about him when she first met him, but as I kept reading, I was like, no, my thoughts are wrong. That's not going to happen. That's no, he's, he's actually going to be a good person for her. I still think he's going to be a good person for her, but my initial thought was correct. And I took about 10 minutes of just staring at the wall when it came to light in the book. And I was like, once again, Wendy Wang had me on the edge of my seat for a majority of the book. It was really well written. I feel like the pacing of book two was actually much better than the pacing of book one. I think that's just because 
you know, book one, there was a lot of intro to all of the characters, all of the backstories, because the characters do have really lengthy, depthy backstories. And since book two, we didn't really need to focus on those backstories. We could really dive in to the crimes that they were working to solve. And I loved every second of it. Let me know in the comments, you guys, what your favorite part of book two was. I had so many different parts of the book that were my favorite. The growth of each character has been phenomenal, especially Charlie, the main character, and then Jason Tate. The scene in the toll shed with the old man was edge of the seat the entire time. The suspense, the morbid, disgusting, like macabre scene that she had painted was just she did so well and if you haven't read book one or book two i definitely would recommend reading both they are so good and i cannot wait to read book three so i'm still gonna be reading book three no matter what you guys choose for the book club so let me know go ahead head over to the community tab right now choose what book you're gonna vote for and um I'll announce it in 24 hours. I'm really excited for this month's book club. I will talk to you guys later. Have a good one.